Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country 3, Dixie Kong's Double Trouble. In the last episode, we completed Cotton Top Cove, and now it's time to take on Mykonos. So, let's go ahead and grab the hovercraft real quick so we can head on over there. And you want to be sure that you pilot this thing a little well because this thing can be slippery, especially if you have the Y button held down. And you can get stuck in that corner right there. Now it's time to take on Mechanos. First stage is Fireball Frenzy. And we're going to meet a new enemy here very quickly, the Carbine. These owls will carry cannons that shoot up fireballs and they will pack a punch. So you want to be very careful. The fireballs fire up very slowly and they drop very slowly, but they do get faster and they do get a little more challenging as you go further into the stage. And of course some of them will follow you around like this and you'll have to deal with their patterns a little more before you can finally get them away from you. For this one you definitely want to avoid Wait for the fireball before you jump over the buzz. And you may have to wait for the platform after this set of carbines. This last one will actually follow you upwards. So you want to be careful and time your movements correctly so the fireballs don't hurt you on your way from one platform to the next. This one will move... No, not that one. One of them does. I think it's this one. This one moves to the right. In case you're, you think you might run into the fireball, just leap off. The platform will go back to the left, and you should be good from there. Also, you want to look alive for hidden stuff, such as that hidden bear coin on this series of platforms. Really useful info that I would advise taking. And I should have used Kitty's super jump there, but I managed to, sort of, to sacrifice a hit with Dick with Kitty, and that's alright, because now we can do the batty bashing thing in this. Here, you transform the squitter, and you take down all these buzzes. That's pretty much it. Really, really easy. Second one's gonna be a little more interesting, though, because it will inv involve the use of the carbines. They do show up in that one. For now, though, let's go ahead and use Dixie to make these jumps a little easier. Of course, when we get on this one, these guys will fire in a pattern. Right, and then left. When, after the fireball on the left goes past the platform, you want to go all the way back to the right. So that way, you can dodge them all over again. This one shoots three. This one also shoots three. And there is a DK barrel finally get Kitty back. I will have to go back for the second bonus area, but for now, let's go ahead and get Coin. He's pretty simple. As long as you don't lose the steel keg to a fireball or lose one of your Kongs. I never had this problem in the, in the practice run. Okay, there we go. But now I'm going to have to get another DK barrel. That's great. And you got a bunch of these shooting more than one. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to sacrifice a life so I can make this a little easier on my part. At least I won't have to get the coin or the first bonus coin again. And I can get Dixie back right away. Then I can get another hidden bear coin because why not? I am so close to 35 now. Those rounds in... Swanky Saito really helped. And I barely landed in lava right there. That was dumb. And if only you could switch characters in lava. Or on the ropes. Well, whatever. Alright. It's not too far to the second bonus area now. Right here, where that barrel is hidden in that platform. You want to be careful, toss Dixie up that platform. 
avoid the carbine and its fireballs, and you should be able to leap to the right and get that second bonus barrel. Will you be able to grab 50 bananas? You want to be very careful here. Hold Y the whole time. Watch out for the fireballs. And I'm getting really good luck on the random banana placement here. Thankfully, this bonus area is very generous on the time. So you have more time than you need to do this with, thankfully. Again, being lucky on the random banana placement really helps here. And we got it. Good. Now we won't have to deal with any pickups. And now we got the end, and there's the DK barrel if we need it. To the right is coin, but we don't need him either. These guys shoot almost pretty much in a row. These guys shoot too. One and three shoot, then two. And you'll have to be dealing with them for more than one salvo, so... But you better be prepared to move carefully. These guys too. And these guys. You want to position yourself in the middle. After they fired. Quickly. And then you got these four. One and three fire, then two and four. They alternate very well and very quickly. But if you're able to do it, or if you can sacrifice a Kong, whichever you can do first, you can make it to the goal there. Now it's time to head to Bazooka's Barracks, where we meet Bri Brigadier Bazooka Bear. That's his actual name. And he used to fight in the Crimean War, but he is now retired from the service along with Big Bessie, which is the name of the cannon in his bunker. You will need Big Bessie in order to get up to that little cave that's suspended on that rope. Unfortunately, you need ammo in order to actually use the cannons you can get up there, and we won't be doing that for quite a while. For now, though, let's head to Demolition Drain Pipe. And there are two bonus areas here. Leap down here, and you'll take get on the sled here. You can get on these little rails in the ceiling, though, to skip some enemies if you need to, but you will have to do some nifty traversing here in order to get to the first bonus area, like so. You may have to set, take a hit in order to get over there, but here you want to be careful when you hit all the bad guys. If you miss one, you will have to do this all over again. And I made that seem far easier than it actually was. And I think we won't be seeing the bonus area for quite a while, though. I will hint at where it's going to be. And pretty much when you're going to get close, at least. We're getting a little closer now. That's not it. Okay, anytime. Drop down! When you see that click clack there, be below that little pit there, above that little pit, that's when you want to drop down. And now it's time to collect some stars. Okay, drop down, drop down. Yes! Again, that's easier than it, that's harder than it looks. And again, you can't miss any of the stars unless you have to start all over. And I got a hidden bear coin there. Awesome. And it is, you do not have a lot of uh, invincibility if you get hit from hitting a wall. <laughs> so you better be ready to react quickly in case that does happen to you because you will lose both Kongs almost instantly. But at least we don't have to deal with getting the bonus areas anymore. So that's a good thing. So for now, let's just concentrate on getting to the exit. And hopefully, getting coin. Ah, I managed to hit that gap this time. Jump into that barrel, and here is the steel keg. You want to jump on the edge of that platform there. And you know how to do the rest, thankfully. 
That is two of three levels down, thankfully. And sure, why not? I'll do six swanky sideshow for some more coins. And I'll do head to head again. I may have to do some playing of this game off screen in order to get the 50 coins and do the mirror. But for now, let's just concentrate on getting some more coins here. And he's just giving me the edge there. Kinda. Come on. Aw, oh, come on. Ah, uh, This is harder than it should be. Ah, uh, Oh, come on, Cranky. Man, it'd be a sad shot in some of these. Oh, there we go. He started missing towards the end there. I thought I was going to win my time over, but apparently I didn't have to. Thankfully. And we get the four banana bunches and the four coins. Good. I would hate to not do that. Now it's time for the final level in this video. Which will be Ripsaw Rage. And how many do I have? Oh, just two. Just two more and then the boss. Again. Which, of course, I'll be doing in the next video. But for now, we got this level. And... You're being chased after by a giant uh, bandsaw that is cutting through these two trees. If you touch it, it will hurt you. So don't do it. That should be pretty obvious. There are two bonus areas, and I will be telling you, or rather hinting at where they're going to be. They will involve barrels. And some good timing. So, here's the first one. Grab this barrel, go to the left, throw it into that buzz, and boom, there you go. For the first one, you're finding the coin. And you can do this with either character, but I'm going to do this with Kitty because... For some reason, I just feel a little faster with him. It's just me, though, probably, but... At least I'm more likely to hit the platforms with him in front. And we should be nearing the halfway point at this juncture. There we are. All right. Now, I think the next one is after the end. I could be wrong. You won't be needing that DK barrel for a bonus stage. It'll be another one. Whoa! Don't mess this up now. And I could have gotten that bear coin. There's plenty of opportunities for me to get get some, thankfully. Hmm. Should be getting pretty close here. You don't want to drop down at that point because, well, you're going to run straight into the saw if you do. And here is... No! Oh, no! Oh, no! You're better off taking a hit first and then grabbing that barrel. Or that steel keg, rather. I wouldn't rather you do that, though that way it doesn't give you any problems. Because if you don't grab that steel keg there, or rather you do grab that steel keg and you get hit by the saw, that steel keg won't be coming back. And you'll have to sacrifice a life if you want to get that second bonus area all over again. And once again I miss out on that bear coin for the dumbest of reasons. I should remember it's there, but I don't. And I'm going rather ahead of myself here. I'm surprised. Maybe that's for the best. It is. Grab that steel keg, smack it into that buzz, go to the right, there you go. 
And for here, you're grabbing 50 bananas. And guess what? This one actually uses the bandsaw gimmick. And you'll be invincible as you ride the saw to the top. And you'll want to keep jumping so you can give yourself more control when trying to get all the bananas. I'd also recommend being Kitty here for some reason. And because, well, you don't have to deal with the lack of size that Dixie has. I'm surprised I did that with Dixie on the first try. Because I missed a few bananas and I thought I wasn't going to make it. Now here, you want to jump into this barrel, or rather that banana, and you'll be sent straight up here. You'll be invincible, and you'll be able to ride the buzzsaw to the steel keg. You want to take it up here. You want to be directly above coin. Throw the barrel to the left. There you go. DK coin number three. And we have all the DK coins and bonus coins for this area so far. Next up is Blazing Bazookas, but that will wait until the next video, so let's go ahead and save our game. And I finally got her asleep. And I'm going to let this music play because... That is actually a remix of the first level music from the first game. I actually like that, to be honest. So let's go ahead and save our game, and we are nearly 50% of the way through. That's not bad. And we'll definitely be getting some more progress done next time. Where we will take on Blazing Bazookas and... The next level, followed by the boss, whoever that may be. Once we're done with Mechanos, we'll be halfway through the game. We'll have four worlds down. So, join me then. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!